Hey guys, it's Dustin the Pro Picker here. In today's video, we're headed to the flea market at the drive-in and we're gonna see what we can find to flip for a profit on eBay. I make a few interesting buys and then all of a sudden I find myself on the end of a, a small bulk buy, which is kind of contradictory, small and bulk. Take these. Is that what, 12 bucks? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. When it came to the Delta shower deals there, I didn't know if that guy that was looking at them initially was going to pick them up or not. So I just kind of stood over to the side, <laughs> trying not to be too awkward. When he didn't go for them, six dollars a piece is awesome yeah are these super exciting items no but you probably should get excited about the boring stuff because the boring stuff can definitely sell that's going to be probably 50 to 60 dollars a piece on these which is a really awesome return on just six dollars each of course that's before fees and all that hey what's up How much you have on this? 20. 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually interested. What do you need on this? Uh, five. Five. I'll do five. Looks like it hasn't been used. Um, I took it out of the box and played it once and put it back in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. All right, thank you. What do you need on this? 50. 50. Uh, 8 you. What do you got? It's just my derby number. That's oh, what really? I run every year. Really? That's a nice PB gun, sir. What do you want on the Harley one? Yeah. 100. In good shape. This one's five bucks a piece, unless you buy the whole set. Obviously, there's a better deal. 
Oh. Is this both the Series 1 and Series 2 sets? <sighs> we can look. Oh, I'm just, uh, yeah. It could, it could be a couple cars off. I don't know. Um, we can look, though. Well, what? Series 1. What series were you two. thinking on, like, the whole the, lot? The, the whole thing for yeah. this? 80 bucks. For all of it? For this whole thing, yeah, 80 bucks. With those two? Yeah, with yeah. these two, yep. 80 bucks. I really wanted 100, but you seem you seem like you, you know you know what you're talking about, and 80 I, I think would be fair. 64. 64. This is yeah. not part yeah, of those, it. Yeah, those, yeah. Oh, so series two, so about, yeah, I 64, mean. 64, then 65, 66, 67. Sets there, plus probably a couple extra. These are series one. This would be part of it though, right? right. Uh, what, for 80? Yeah. I mean, if there's two complete sets. Well, I don't know if they're complete because right. like we have to run them through. Like, yeah. I, I mean, we'd have to be like okay. one through one, so, two, three, four, five, six. Right, right. Um, so that's kind of uh, the risk I would be taking upon. Right. So, yeah. So look, with this right here and these. Oh, um, I got a 20. Can you, I think. Can yeah, you yeah. just hold it back yeah. here? I'll, yeah. pull, I'll pull around yeah, for him. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably don't want to walk around with it. Very right, cool. Thank Thanks you. For you. Thank yeah. you for doing business, man. I come here a lot. I think I've sold maybe stuff to you before. Uh, it's very likely, Cards, yeah. Maybe. All right, so guys, like right here, I have almost a complete set. So we're going really good here. One through eight, nine through 16. 17, 18, 19, but then we're missing 20. And then it gets a little rougher because then we're missing 25 and 27, 28. I was kind of hoping and I could have inventoried these a little bit better that I have w at least one complete series two set in here. So then that way I could sell that as a lot. I might actually just buy the fill-in cars for this set and do the math and see if that makes sense to then sell this as a set and see how that works. Then we have a lot of color variation duplicates. And then we have even more cars. So like it's it's looking pretty solid here. Um, I did have to use these disinfectant wipes on the bubbles because they definitely had some dirt on them. They're not mint in package, but most of the cards are at least okay to pretty good kind of condition. And I think we're gonna still make money on everything. It's just not as easy as I was hoping it was gonna be. I might piece out some cars. I might lot some together. I definitely don't wanna have, we have like 78 cars here. So we paid basically a buck a car. I don't wanna have 78 listings and sell each car individually. I wanna avoid that. So I'm not any like Hot Wheels expert or anything guys. However, I think I'm doing okay on these. So these cards aren't necessarily like meant, but most of them are in pretty decent shape. Some have some issues. There are uh, some sold comps to justify this. I don't know necessarily, like I had said, if I'm gonna fill in the gaps of the full set. I'm really tempted just to shoot them all up there and take the quick buck and just make a profit instead of trying to list like each one individually as I think about it some more. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Did I overpay? I mean, again, not necessarily my area of expertise, but we're at a buck a car on them. Let me know what you think on it. Do you like lemonade or sun tea? Um, it makes sense. Go on to the Girl Scouts. I'll do a... Uh, or we can do a mix of both. I'll do a lemonade. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Find a little or... You go ahead and just keep that, all right? Yeah. All right, welcome. cool. Thank you. Yep, okay. have a great yeah, day. That's great to find the garage sales because sometimes they're 2 or $3. Right. Then I'll go into an antique shop and they'll oh. be... I see one that antique fillies for $129 oh and I goodness. paid $3 for it. <laughs> I paid $3 for the same one last year. Oh wow. Yeah. That and $40 and $50 for them.
first. <laughs> Put the bag. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's already started. Hey, oh, your shot. You can fill it up. If you have an older house, the only two wire won't work. The newer ones where you plug it in, it'll work. No, oh, okay. Yeah, we we got it for now, and then we could use it for the house. Oh, gotcha. So just to get out of the box to figure out. Yeah. Would you take seven on that? Back here to um, I'll take no, eight. The, take no, eight. The I can do eight. Music was super loud at this one. So I got into this sale and looked around and finally found something that I did want to buy. He was super nice. It was just like, take all the Motorola security system stuff for 20 bucks. I don't think this is going to be a super fast seller, but I think, you know, we could get 80, 90 for the kit. And then the other components, the camera will get maybe 50 and the other components will get a little bit less. All for 20 bucks is really good. I am pulling most of the comps here off of Terrapeak because there's not a ton of recent solds. So that is a little bit rough, but I think the margins are definitely going to be there for us. Waste king. Is it new? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Just got these two okay. right okay. here. Alright. Where's my pen go? Kara, just Oh, there. wait, did I see I that? Did. Yeah. I didn't know how much That's that ten. One. And then twelve? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Two, under two, two to mom. Yeah. Is that you? Yep. I bought that, and my dad said you didn't even try to figure out the right one to get. What that garbage yes, disposal? I, <laughs> <laughs> I said I, I my best. <laughs> okay, so uh, I bought my dad bought me one for my birthday, and, and was going to put it in. What even and uh, thank you. No, oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and it wouldn't. Uh, yeah. It wasn't the right it one really either. Nice. Like, okay, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Good luck today. Thank you. I'm going to quickly talk about two topics returns and negotiating at yard sales. When it comes to negotiating yard sales, I'm going to pick two instances here, also involve returns. And uh, one of them was uh, brought up a couple times in one of my comment sections where one person, for instance, I guess, I don't know if it's just moral superiority or something, but they've said they would have paid the five dollars and i guess they could I, I was wrong to negotiate on these shoes these keen shoes so yeah i did negotiate on them i mean they were five dollars and i ended up getting them for four and the thing is they sold really fast for like 45 bucks which is a great thing because when something sells for good margins and really quick that's why we're in this business right so i ship them off spend like out of that $45, like 10 of it's going to shipping because it was a free shipping listing. I get a return request and we do end up getting the shoes back and everything. It was because they didn't fit, which is a risk that you take in shoes and clothing. Mitigating risk, probably the biggest thing you could do, other than like inspecting your items thoroughly, is paying less. So I'm not just $4 into those shoes because she did pay return shipping. I, I'm still out the money for sending the item out so now i'm 14 dollars into those shoes and when you're watching youtube videos especially like even mine and you see a comp and you see like it's worth 50 bucks pop up on the screen 
If somebody pays five to ten dollars for it, they're not going to keep forty five or forty to forty five dollars. It's just not how it works. You've got your eBay fees. You've got, you know, if it's a free shipping listing, that person popped up. They have to cover the shipping cost. Of course, time, effort, packaging, gas, just everything, the return risk, occasionally potential fraud risk and stuff that will just become complete time sinks. So there's a lot that goes into this that isn't necessarily just shown on like the day to day footage. So another instance was I got a fair amount of criticism and I think uh, it's mainly because it went more into the algorithm outside of like the usual audience and I it was the first yard sale I had really hit of the year this season it was early I went around there and around back into the alley uh where her garage was and found all this stuff that she was trying to get rid of she was a reseller I ended up spending two hundred dollars there she was happy I was happy uh there seemed to be no big deal there I did get a lot of stuff but it was definitely a lot of quantity and a lot of work on my part so I sold some samples from that lot for $25. I get a return request that's actually happened today. And that return request basically stated that, and it said samples in the title, by the way, that I didn't understand that these were samples given away for free in the store. I was going to use them as part of like gift baskets or whatever, but I think it would just make them look cheap. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, that's just great. And the thing is, yes, I, they are paying return shipping because I have buyer paid returns on. However, I'm still out the shipping the first way, the way out, I guess you would say, to the customer. It's just like one of those things that you have to factor in when you're making these buys that you are going to have a, spe a certain amount of items that you're going to have to take returns on. And you need to pad for that a little bit. And yeah, that's my ramble with that i'm gonna wrap it up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye